Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, I am hoping to provide a possible solution for the frequently encountered problem by antenna designers, which is nothing but their ambiguities associated with feeding of antenna and other microwave components. This video illustrates the usage of scripting with the help of MATLAB that has helped in automating this ambiguous task. Here on the screen, you can see the command window of MATLAB. I am opening my script by typing create port in this window. You can see a GUI window being popped up after typing this command. Now you see the two portions of the GUI with one each being dedicated to HFSS and CST. The path fields have been initialized with some random strings which are known to be the path paths where I have stored these project files in my PC. The path fields Obviously, you can see they are filled by legal path commands. See, you can see this was the, the legal path. Firstly, I will explain the messages being displayed on the command window. As you see, for this API to work properly, some variables are not allowed to be used in your designs. If you do so, this API won't work, won't create a port or either connector. For AEDT projects, which means HFSS projects, the variables highlighted in the red color, I mean this line, are not to be used prior to the creation of this connector. The second line indicates the variables that, no, that are not allowed to be used in the CST projects. Followed by these exceptions, there are some important instructions too that are displayed in green color. In case of AEDT projects, you need to pick the phases as shown in this video. And edges are to be picked for CST projects, then only the port with create connector is created. Now we will see the GUI inputs, the path fields. For keeping this video shorter, I have already opened both the projects prior to making this video. I have multiple design files in this project. As you see, there are multiple designs. There are about six designs in this project named Patch. You can see the currently active project name. You can select from among one among from this list. This API offers two types of functionality which consists of port only mode and with connector mode. I will demonstrate these two features one after the other. Firstly, I will select the faces of microstrip line. Now I will show you the design. Yeah, here you can see the array of antenna. And now I will pick the face of the microstrip line. And the substrate line. Now, this is one of the important instructions that I have mentioned in the, earlier in this video. For port only mode, you can create a wave port of desired dimensions. Dimensions of the wave port are controlled using the width and height inputs provided in GUI. You will be having the controls, namely port width and port height in this GUI for creating only the port. So I will select the microstrip type field line, field type and type of port being port only. So click on create port. Yes, now you can see the port being created. This is the waveguide port. Here comes the anticipated portion of this video which is creation of the connector. You need to follow the same steps as I did for the port only creation. Again you have to click on create port. So I will do that. So I will pick the faces and move on to GUI. So now I will change the with connector. So all these are not related to all these fields are not related to connector type so they simply discard it so click on create port and you can see the sma port sma connector being created over here 
and the excitation 2. So the waveport also, waveport has been created. This connector creation will ensure the waveport creation too. So it will help in saving your valuable time of designing. All you need to do is to focus on your design and there is no need to worry about the feeding of the antenna as this API will take care of everything. And you can see the variables being used here. These are all these variables are can be used to control the SMA connector dimensions. With this, HFSS portion is completed and we'll move on to connector creation in CST. As I said, I have opened the CST project 2 in advance. Only difference between CST and HFSS is here. We select the edges rather than faces as we did in HFSS. So, I will zoom it here. Yeah. I can see the, see the microstrip line on the screen. For picking up edge chain, we have to press Shift plus E in keyboard and select the edge chain, edge chain as I have shown in this video. Shift plus E. So this this is the type of edges that we need to pick here, and another edge chain. Click on next and OK. So I have picked two edge chains and I will change the shape of the pin of this SMA connector. And select the type of the connector SMA and we'll click on the create port. So, as you see here, the SME connector has been created in CS2. For this video, I will only show you the creation of SME connector only. As if my channel subscriber count crosses 1000 mark, I will make a video on how to create the K-type connector. It is very useful for millimeter wave applications in the range of 27 to 60 gigahertz. So keep your eye on my channel by subscribing to it. After selecting the type of connector, click on clicking on this created port. Here also you don't need to think about the port creation as the API takes care of this thing. Here you can see the wavegate port. One more additional control you have in GUI is this shape. You can control the shape of the pin. As you can choose in between these two values, square type and circular type. Hope this video clears all your ambiguities and saves your time without spending too much on aligning the connectors for simulations. And as a closing part, I will show you the ability of this GUI by creating one connector here. Okay, square. So the square shape. This is the square shape of SMA connector, and this is a circle shape. Thanks for watching, and do subscribe to my channel for getting to know about the design of millimeter wave connector. Remember, the video will only be posted if the subscribers count crosses thousand. If you have any queries about the usage of the CPI, let me know through the links provided in the description. Thank you.